Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Sunday. It is the October the 16th, so here we go. Oh, that's good stuff. I'll, I will be having some more of this. All right, well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you all are doing well this morning. Oh, let's see. Well, it's Sunday. And as always, uh, there's, a, there's uh, more readings on Sunday, which is good. Uh, let's see, we're going to start off in Jeremiah. And then we have uh, the, a reading in uh, Psalm 119. And then we're going to Genesis. And then Psalm 121. And then 2 Timothy. And then the Gospel of Luke. So here we go. Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 27 through 34. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. Here we go. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of humans and the seed of animals. And just as I have watched over them to pluck up and break down, to overthrow, destroy, and bring evil so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. In those days they shall no longer say, The parents have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. But all shall die for their own sins. The teeth of every one who eats sour grapes shall be set on edge. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. All right. All right. Uh, the old, um, <laughs> the psalm reading, uh, Psalm 119, verses 97 through 104. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day long. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn away from your ordinances, for, I, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. All right. Uh, The next reading, Genesis chapter 32, verses 22 through 31. So here we go. The same night he got up and took, took his two wives, his two maids, and his eleven children, and crossed the ford of the Jebuk. He took them and sent them across the stream, and likewise everything that he had. Jacob was alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. And when the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. But he said, Let me go, for the day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. <clears throat> then the man said, You will no longer be called you shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with humans and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. 
The sun rose upon him as he passed Peñol, limping because of his hip. Hmm. Interesting. That's always an interesting story. All right. Uh, Psalm 121. Here we go. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where my, will my help come from? From where, from, from where will my help come? There. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The, shun, the sun shall not strike you by day, or the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you, your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. All right. My apologies for the stumbling. <laughs> And here we go. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 uh, through chapter 4, verse 5. So here we go. Turn it this way. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. In the presence of God and of, and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of this appearing and his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim this message, be persistent whether the time is favorable or unfavorable. Convince, rebuke, and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths. As for you, always be sober, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist. Carry out your ministry fully. Wow. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine. I think we're there. Of course, that's been going on forever. But that's, mm. All right. Get a little coffee here. All right. The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Here we go. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused. But later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant to his children ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will click quickly grant them justice, and yet when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? And this is the word of the Lord. Wow. All right, as always, on Sundays, the Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers, and I'd like to share a few of those with you. So uh, there's a thematic prayer, an intercessory prayer, and then there's a scripture prayer. So, uh, let us pray. God of power and justice, like Jeremiah, you weep over those who wander from you, turn aside to other gods, and enter into chaos and destruction. 
By your tears and through your mercy, teach us your ways and write them on our hearts so that we may, may follow you faithfully uh, the path you show us. Amen. And then, God of salvation, you sent your Son to seek out and save what is lost. Hear our prayers on behalf of those who are lost in our day, receiving these petitions and thanksgivings with your unending compassion. And uh, I know, like you, I have, uh, there's people on my heart and mind, and I, I just lift them up. Um, and then, Redeeming Savior, visit your people and pour out your strength and encourage, encourage upon us that we may hurry to make you welcome, not only in our concern for others, but by serving them generously and faithfully in your name. Amen. And then, O God, Spirit of Righteousness, you temper judgment with mercy. Help us to live the covenant written upon our hearts, so that when Christ returns, we may be found worthy to be received, received by grace into your presence. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that uh, you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'm going to go get ready for church and all that good stuff. So y'all have an awesome day and have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, so be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we will see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.